Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to guide you through the process of upgrading your Windows 10 to the latest version, Windows 11, without losing any data. We'll ensure that everything is retained during this upgrade, and the best part is, you won't need any USB pen drives or additional tools. Just make sure your PC has sufficient storage space for the upgrade. Let's dive into the step-by-step -step procedure. Step 1. Downloading Windows 11 from Microsoft website. Firstly, head over to the Windows 11 download page on the Microsoft website. Select your desired Windows version and language from the provided list. Download the ISO file to your computer's downloads folder. Once the download is complete, locate the Windows 11 ISO file in your downloads folder. Now, double-click on the Windows 11 ISO file to mount it as a virtual DVD drive. From the mounted ISO, run the setup.exe file. Proceed with the setup process, accept the terms and conditions, and shortly, you'll see the notification that your PC is not supported. Step 2. Installing Windows 11. Moving on to the installation process. Return to the mounted disk drive for Windows 11. Copy all the folders and files from there. Navigate to your Windows C drive, create a new folder named Win11 in the root folder, and paste all the copied files and folders inside. Open the command prompt as an administrator. To do this, type command prompt in the search bar, right-click, and select Run as administrator. In the command prompt window, type the following command, c colon backslash win11 backslash setup.exe, product server, you can find this command in the video description. Running this command will initiate the Windows 11 installation. During the installation, disregard any mention of Windows Server installation. When prompted for updates, choose Not Now. Accept the terms and conditions, and opt to keep files, settings, and apps. Wait for the setup to complete, this process may involve a few PC reboots, which is normal. Once the installation is finished, your PC will reboot into Windows 11. As you can see, Windows 11 is now successfully installed. Feel free to delete the Win11 folder from Drive C to free up space. And you can also remove the Windows 11 ISO file from the Downloads folder. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and sharing it.